we're going to talk about the PTA installation. First, when you download the image, you're going to use in CyberArk Secure File Exchange website to log in. Once you log in, you need to find the CyberArk path solution. If you need to look at the old version, then you can go to path archive folder. At this moment, we are looking at the 11.1 version. Looking at the latest 11.1, it belongs to core path folder. There's a PTA CD image. On the left, you will find out the PTA VM image here. So we can do Hyper-V, we can do VMware, either way it should work. So let's do Hyper-V, download. It's 2.1 gig bytes file. It's gonna take uh, probably 30 minutes. At the same time, I'm gonna also download the VMware image. Uh, it's a 4.1 gig, that's much larger than Hyper-V image. So I'm gonna stop here. We are come back and continue once we finish our downloading. Here is our download the PTA image hyper zip file. We already unzip it to this PTA dash img dash hyper dot vhd file. Now we're gonna create the VM. Put the name as PTA. So uh, we're gonna within four gig memory. And we're gonna use in existing virtual hard disk, which we just downloaded. So download folder. Next, finish, change some settings, memory is fine, processor, I'm gonna give them four, a VM, it's a center OS 7. Here is a login. Okay, we're gonna log in as a root user. The password is diamond admin123 exclamation mark D as in capital D I A M O N D capital A T M I N one two three exclamation mark. Great. Can use P R E P W I Z D I R. Okay, all capital P R E P W I Z D I R. So we can then we are in a folder P R E P W I Z folder. Then we can issue this command to using a wizard to install our PTA. course, we can accept the terms of the agreement. We need to use a new password.
this is an optional one so i can skip that lending inventory report is this optional one i can uh, skip that for now uh, for all authorized machines i'll say all network sensor and pta agent communication config optional so now i can uh, skip that option golden ticket detection configuration Email notification configuration. Skip that. PTA maintenance user. System maintenance user. Hmm. I will say. Let's go to our PVWA server and then we can try to log into our PVWA to see the changes. We can find out that there's a new tab added in the PVWA security event and the security configurations. Then we also can log into the PTA server directly. Um, the username is administrator. Initial username, password, same, but the password is capital A. We're going to change it. Capital A, Twitter, and then an then we need to update the license. Okay, we got the license. Now we logged in. We can see dashboard, we can see report, we also can see the settings. Every session and they send a response. In this title, add a user user account and enable the response. We can change some default rules here. We can add a user, privilege users and groups. All looks okay. So this report, we don't have reports created yet. That's pretty much for all installation steps. Thank you for watching.